CapCut is a completely free editing tool that even beginners can use to make professionally looking YouTube videos in minutes. This is a complete tutorial to edit your YouTube video from A to Z, even if you have no prior experience with CapCut or with editing in general. I'll show you how to import and trim your footage, and I'll give you tons of editing tricks to maximize your viewing time, like adding B-roll and stock photos, titles and text, transitions, sound effects, etc. Let's dive into it. The very first thing we'll do is creating a new project and importing our raw footage. Here we can see our timeline with all our footage imported. And now it's time to start trimming and cutting all the undesired parts everywhere where you made a mistake, silence words, filling words, we'll remove all that. To do so, we need to use the splitting tool. So we click on our clip and then in the bottom left corner, the splitting function will appear. We split wherever there's an undesired part and then we just need to delete it. It's really easy. You can do this for your entire video, your entire clip. And that way you can trim your video really fast and really efficiently. If you are anything like me, however, I have a special trick for you. I know that when I film, I leave a lot of time between different sentences or different paragraphs. So what I like to do is to show the sound wave so that I can see every sentence appear in a sound wave and cut out the silences very easily. Don't move on until you're fully satisfied with this step. Once you've removed all your mistakes and all the bad scenes, it's now time to move on to the B-roll. Adding B-roll in CapCut is very, very easy. This is going to make your video way more dynamic and engaging for the viewer. So let's dive into it. To add your B-roll, just click on the overlay button down here, click add overlay, and then select your B-roll. In this case, I'm going to select a screen recording from my iPad. As you can see, a new row appeared in my timeline and I can click on the B-roll and then zoom in and zoom out, move it and resize it like I want with my fingers and by pinching in and out. So this allows me to put the screen recording either on the left side of the video, like this, or in the bottom right if I want to, like this. Or, and that's what you usually want to do with your B-roll, is to put it full screen. There you go, it's that easy to add some B-roll. Now, you can even go further, you can cut this clip, just like we did with our main footage earlier in this video. You can add effects and anything you'd like to this B-roll. Now, I'm going to show you my secret technique to add engaging B-roll, even if you're not a cinematic photographer. What I like to do is to add GIFs memes and stock footage. Here's how to do it in just a few clicks. For the GIFs, I use the Giphy app. It's very easy, just download the app on the App Store and then once you have the app on your device, just select the GIF you want and save it to your pictures. Now that it's saved to your camera roll, you can go back to CapCut and in CapCut you can now add it to your video in the same way you added your b-roll and now you can do the same with stock footage therefore if you want great free stock footage you can install the app called pexels it's a free library of stock footage and it has almost everything you'll need and just like we did with the giphys just save the video to your device and then add it to CapCut, just like we did with the b-roll it's now time to add titles and you'll be really happy that you're using the CapCut app for this part. You'll have a lot of flexibility and you'll be able to pick from the most popular templates on the internet for free in just a few clicks. To add your first titles, just go to text and then you can choose between add text and add text template. If you select add text, you can add your text and then pick the font, pick the style, add some effects if you'd like. I usually don't use this category. Add animation to your title and even add a bubble layer for your text. I usually just pick the font and the style. If on the other hand, you decide to select text templates for your titles, I recommend mainly scrolling through the trending part. That's where you'll find the most popular text and type of text that you wouldn't think about, but that are actually really useful for your video. For example, this one or this one. If you like one of these templates, you can save it by just long pressing. Pick the styles you want, pick the types of text you need for different parts of your video. Remember, text is what really gets your message along. It's what makes people remembering what you said and it helps to guide them through the video. It helps them to remember exactly at what stage of the video we are. Okay, so now we finished the main part of our video, which is we trimmed the main clip, we added some B-roll and we added all the titles. Now it's time to get into the details that will make your video much more interesting to watch. Let's start with transitions and effects. For the transitions, you can do them on two levels, either on your B-roll or on your main footage. Usually you'll mainly use transitions on your B-roll, especially if, like me, you only have one camera filming your entire video. You won't really have the need to add many transitions, 
because all the clips are exactly the same. What you might want to add is some zooms between different scenes, but transitions won't be necessary. So let's dive into our B-roll and add some transitions there. To make this extra interesting, I chose some drone footage and some outdoor cinematic footage because that's where the use of transitions is the most obvious. You can really choose from a wide variety of transitions and you can apply all of them in just one click. It's really amazing. So have fun with them, play a little bit, see which one you like and which ones fit your style. If you are not sure and if you are a beginner, I would recommend to not go overboard with them. Do not make your video too distracting and too gimmicky. Me personally, I mainly use basic transitions like swipes, fading in, fading out. Once you've finished all your transitions, you can now start playing with effects. It's very easy to go too much with them, so be very careful when you use them. The effects in this app are really great because CapCut is from the same company as TikTok, so they are experts at making these kind of effects. If you use them right, you can really enhance your message by, for example, saying how powerful this app is. One of the most useful effects that you'll find is the one to remove the background. And this is awesome for creating tutorial videos, teaching videos, commercial videos, etc. With this feature, you really don't need a green screen anymore. Okay, let's keep moving on. The next thing you'll need is speed adjustment. This is really awesome for your B-roll and it's really easy. Just click on the clip, adjust the speed and that's it. I usually recommend speeding up footage by 3x or 5x, but that always depends on your usage. So give it a try, take some B-roll, accelerate it and see how it can make your video more dynamic. And then another way to improve your B-roll is to stabilize your footage. So if you have filmed some scenes by yourself, you can stabilize your footage directly into CapCut. To do so, select your clip and then you can stabilize your footage in just a few taps. The results are amazing. We're now almost ready with the visual part of our video and all there's left to do is the color grading. You can easily do that in CapCut and it's much easier than with other software. To do so, you have two options. When you have no clip selected, go to filters and then select the filter you like. Once you've selected your filter, you'll see a new row in your timeline. This is really important. It allows you to choose on which part of the video you apply your filter. So if you only want it for one clip, you can adjust it to one clip. But if you want the same filter for the entire video, you can easily do it by dragging this line over the entire video length. So that's awesome. You can now apply the same color correction over all your clips. The second method for color grading is to click on adjust. And there you have full freedom over your color editing. So if you did not like the filters we saw earlier, you can now create your own customized filter by yourself. Play around with all the settings until you are satisfied with your final result. Now that the entire visual part of our video is finished, it's time to go over to the most underrated part of video editing, which is music and sound effects. We will first start by adjusting the volume of our video and if necessary, removing the noise. Both can be done in just one click. Let's start by adjusting the volume of our main track. By default, this value is on 100. Personally, I found out that 100 is great. I never had to adjust this value, but if for some reason your audio is not loud enough or too loud, you can adjust it here. Now, the next thing we can do, if you haven't done it earlier, is to reduce the noise. This can be done in just two clicks. Just go to reduce noise and then activate the toggle. If you'd like, you can also play with voice effects, but I've never used those. Then the next thing we want to do is to add music. We can either do that by importing music from our device or by selecting music inside the app. It's important to note that the music inside the app is not copyright free. So if you want to be really sure that you have the rights over your music, you better import it by yourself. Once you have imported your music, I recommend putting the sound volume on 20 to 30. This will allow us to clearly hear and understand what you're saying, but still noticing that there's some music in the background. And finally, we want to add sound effects. This will make your video much more dynamic to view and listen to. And what you can do here is add different sound presets. For example, adding some popping sounds for buttons, adding some swoosh sounds for transitions and texts, and adding some other fun effects like applause, <laughs> laughter, etc. So that's it. This covers the entire YouTube video creation process from A to Z. You now know everything you need to create a successful YouTube channel by yourself. If you get started, don't hesitate to post your link in the comments so that I can have a look at your creations. Thank you for watching and see you next time.